everybody welcome back to my channel so we're doing an Amazon haul today um, just two items um, so it's gonna be a quick video um, I just wanted to share some things I got off Amazon um, I've been doing quite a bit of shopping on Amazon lately um, as of today I have one two three four more items that are arriving tomorrow all crochet related of course um but the first item i wanted to show you that i picked up was the double-sided release paper it's a 200 pack they're four by four squares um i got these on the diamond art club um page um on amazon now this is not this is really um a lot smaller as far as release papers are concerned than what I'm used to, but I'm willing to try something new. So it has the Diamond Art Club logo on it. It is double sided. Now, if you're curious on what size release papers I use, I use these. So, you know, about half. <laughs> these are about half. Um, when I tell you that I am working on a on a square on my um, canvas, my diamond painting canvas. This is the size square section that I'm working on. I peel the whole thing off and I work on that entire square. So when I tell you I complete a square, um, this is the size square I complete. Um, and I believe this size, these four by fours are what the new perforated um, cover sheet sizes are on the cover sheet. So, I don't know. There, it was a 200 pack. I can always use more release papers. And I wanted to try these out. I mean, can't really go wrong with Diamond Art Club stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to... Next canvas I do... Um, probably a Dreamers Design canvas. I will we'll try these out with the canvas instead. So if you are curious on how much these release papers cost, if you didn't know they were here on Amazon, they were $12.99. So, I mean, I pay cheaper for the other release papers on Timu, um, and they're much, much bigger, which means less squares to do on the canvas, but... I don't know. I'm always trying up for trying something a little bit different. So these look really, really nice. So um, I'm really excited to try them out. All right. So next item. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything is un unbagged already. Okay. I didn't want to put my um, the shipping, the bubble mailer. I didn't want to put that with my address on on the video. So I already unboxed everything. So the next item is this case. It is a crochet hook case, carrying case. And let me give you a price before we even go any further. $12.99. A lot of them are around the same price. It has two zippers. Back and a front. Oops. Manhandling it. So here's where you put some of your hooks. Here you can keep scissors, um, lost my train of thought, stitch markers, tape measure, stuff like that. Here you can put your thinner crochet hooks. Here's another, here, I would put my measuring tape in something like this because this is individually a little zip baggy. This is cute. Can I get it? Does the zipper not work? There we go. And then back here, um, I'm assuming this is for a thicker crochet hook since the band is wire. They do, if you don't know, um, they do make crochet hooks, some of them really, really large. Um, but I notice a, a lot of the larger ones are also very long. So I don't know if they would necessarily fit in here. Maybe I would double up and put two crochet hooks here. But while I have you here, we're going to put this case to the test. And... This is what I'm currently keeping my crochet hooks in here, but we're getting rather full. Um, and I just wanted something a little bit more neater because I don't use every single hook in this, in this bag. This is, 
these type of hooks are my favorite. This is what I, you know, uh, lean towards. This is what I always go for. Um, these ones with the wooden handles. They are on more of a longer side. Um, but when I'm holding them, they kind of fit perfectly in my hand. And I have enough room for the yarn up here. Um, yes, I got these from Hobby Lobby. This is a Hobby Lobby brand. I am, maybe today, um, I'm going to go back and get the rest of the sizes that I don't have, even though I don't use the other sizes too much. Um, I want to have them. I mean, they are smaller sizes, um, which would probably be for Aragumi. <laughs> um, the stuffed animals. Making plushies. Okay. Like little plushies. And I think they have a size up bigger than this. This is a nine millimeter. This is pretty thick. This is what I use for blankets. Um, I think they also have a 10. So I really would like to grab the 10. So, but my most used are these three sizes, a 5.5, 5, a five, and oh, this is a six and a half. Do I have a six? No, I have a six. Yes. And a six. So six and a half, six and 5.5 5, or five and a half and five. These are my most used. I do use these for blankets. I use them for garments like wearables, scarves. Um, yeah, I use these the most. So let's see if these even, Oh, I think they are going to fit. They're going to fit. Look, look how nice and snug they fit. Really, really nice. Let's put them in order. Okay. Now I am missing some sizes. Let's see if these fit. These are a little bit thicker. This one is an eight. This is also for blanket yarn. Well, I use it for the fleece blankets that I make for people. Oh, look how nice that fits in there. Really, I'm going to leave these other three spots for some missing ones that I'm going to get. And these, I think, would be purple, purple, uh, perfect for my metal hooks, which are the other type that I use. These. These are all metal. I was originally, why am I so crooked? I was originally using these um, before I got these with the wooden handles. So, here are the smaller sizes, 5, 5.7, 5, 5.25, 5 and a 5. So, yes, these are definitely for the metal hooks. And I did order, I have way more crochet hooks than this, and I am still buying crochet hooks. So, um, for your info, I did order another case similar to this with a different print to it. Here's my, uh, 10. And what is this one? This one's an eight. Here's my eight. Let's see if the eight fits. Yes. Will the 10 fit? Yes. How nice that that's really put together really really nice now this one is from cat diamond painting view which cat she got me this one for Christmas I would like to put this one in here you know what since it's the only kind of it of this one um I don't have any rubber handles this is like an ergonomic hook this is by boy we're gonna put this one back here fits nice I love it now, also, I have darning needles to put in here. This is for regular four-weight yarn, and these big ones are for blanket yarn, these blue plastic ones. I have my scissors. I have two pairs of scissors and tons of lo loose yarn all over the place. More needles. And I have other crochet hooks in here, but I don't... 
I really don't use these. I tried them out to try them. Um, the shaft is too short for me. I need more room. See like how there's the handle and all that room. And these are way shorter. So um, not my favorite. They're really cute though. Um, and, and this was originally, you see how busted this is? Um, this is a Susan Bates. Um, this is the five millimeter hook that I originally started with when I started crocheting. So I'm not gonna put these um, in here. Oh, and I have a little stitch marker in case you don't know what a stitch marker looks like. I have a whole pack of these. I ordered more. Um, I packed them up in the move and I just don't know where the hell I put any of them. So. These are my favorite scissors. I think they're super pretty. These are the my original ones I first got. Kind of looks like a bird. But I have these. Oh, tell me the zipper's messed up. Okay, I got it. Okay. And since there is mesh here... I'm afraid the darning needles will go through the mesh. So maybe we'll try putting them in this pack right here. Yeah, fits. And you know what? We might as well put the stitch marker in there with it. And there we go. So I finally cleaned this out. So this, I'm just going to keep this spare for any... Um... Why is my camera so loose? Um, I'm just going to keep this as a spare for hooks that I don't normally use, but here we go. So we have the hook that Diamond Painting Viewers Cat got me for Christmas. And these are my metal hooks. I'm facing all the same way. Um, so this is like my secondary, what I, I would go to, but um, here's where I put my scissors. This is where I put my yarn needles. And here are my favorite, favorite hooks, um, which I'm... I'm probably going to finish this video and go straight to Hobby Lobby <laughs> because I do have to run out to the bank. So I am probably going to go to Hobby Lobby and get the rest of these and put them in. Um, yeah, I love this. This is super cute. This is going to be, this is way more organized than this. Having to go in this bag, this pencil bag and dig around for what I'm looking for. Everything is just kind of in its place with this case and it zips up really nice and it's a really beautiful pattern i love it it looks super super adorable i'm glad i ordered another one too because i have so way so more uh way more hooks in my collection um and a lot of the ones in my collection i am not using but i would like to store them in a better way other than in like a makeup bag because the other ones are in a, a black like little mini makeup bag so um yeah i definitely want to store them a little bit more neater than this so i can keep track of what i have um but yeah um, i'm super excited this was great this came in one day so um tomorrow as soon as i get my packages we're actually going to be doing a um another haul amazon haul it is also crochet stuff another crochet um yarn yarn hook organizer um i also did get some stitch markers and i got a new like carrying case for my yarn and my projects on the go so and i also um splurged a little um i heard about this brand it's called a furls hook f-u-r-l-s furls um they're a brand that makes really beautiful crochet hooks uh, resin crochet hooks and i think they make wooden ones also um and i found a couple on amazon so i bought one for myself to try it out because there's a lot of people that i watch in the crochet community here on youtube that use their hooks and swear by them so i wanted one for my collection so i picked up a really pretty one i'm not going to tell you what it looks like because that'll be a surprise for tomorrow um and yeah, um, I picked it up in uh, in a five point five, so my my most used size. So um, so I get some use out of it. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you a couple things tomorrow. So um, 
stay tuned turn on your notifications so you get notified when i upload the video and any other videos for that fact so um without further ado i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next video bye guys